someone order a pizza? Oh, thank God. There's no way I can eat any of this hospital food. We'd have asked Karen to deliver it, but I'm thinking maybe she wised up. Hey, Karen was just filling in for Langston, who has a busy schedule, by the way. She uh, had me, and then she had Junior. <sighs> I told you it would take more than almost dying to change him. I'm lying in a hospital bed, and you're giving me a hard time. Honey, I haven't even warmed up yet. You were a player, but to railroad Langston into sleeping with you. I did not force myself on a Langston. She was all over me any chance she got. She's in high school. She's an old soul. She had a boyfriend until you messed it up. Oh, come on. She was so over Marco, it was pitiful, which is not my fault, by the way. You made someone mad enough to want you dead. Now you're blaming the victim. Look, nobody deserves to be beat up like that, but... What you, you did is wrong. You hurt Marco, you hurt Langston, and who knows who else? Okay. What? I, I appreciate you coming with me, but I can talk to Ford alone. I know you can, which means I'm still going in with you. Kelly. No, come on. Just as backup. Jessica, you are my best friend. Which is why I also want to tell Ford exactly what I think of him. Look, I'm a lover, not a fighter. But uh, thanks for the pizza, and uh, thank you for saving my life. I, I heard that you guys found me and uh, called the ambulance. And we're glad that we were there to help. But uh, as soon as you get out of here, you're going to have to find your own place to stay. That's cold. Look, I'll ask around, see if I can find you something, but uh, Marco is our friend, and we were there with him that night when he found you in Langston. So, I want you out of my house. Hey, Jess. Hey. hey. Did you come see Ford? Why would she be here to see Ford? I don't know. especially you, Leila. I wanted to congratulate you on your engagement. And I, I just wanted to say how sorry I am about how I acted trying to break you two up. I, I wasn't myself. Jess, come on. We told you we understand. And you were impossible. But Christian and I are getting married, and you and Brody are back together. So it's all good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Later. Bye, guys. Was I too hard on Ford? I kicked him out, remember? After I tore him a new one. Third marriage needs a pit bull. Excuse me? Oh, well, see, you're pretty tough. And all you have to do is use that juice and tell your mom that you're married. You would have to bring that up. Don't you think it's time? My mother's life revolves around Evangeline. I'm not that important. That's not true. And you're not exactly her favorite person. We have to tell her, Layla. She's your mother. You feel like driving to Maryland? Only if you promise not to turn back. Are you going to be the kind of husband who's always right? If you're lucky. Look, I think your mom's going to be fine with this. I wouldn't count on it. <laughs>